R34 has ruined a whole ass generation. Yeah, we're talking about my generation. Things that people don't want to talk about. So first, in order to understand why I hate R34, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Back to where it started. 1987. The Bite. <laughs> Unironically, it feels like it's become a crutch to jack load a video with a fuck ton of information that people don't need in order to extend your watch time, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of lame. I like the mentality of keeping things short and simple, straight to the point. And um, if I need to be entertaining, uh, I'll be entertaining. <laughs> now, you remember My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, right? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying bronies were the first people to do R34 for a kid's show. I'm not saying that at all. But you know, they kind of popularized it. But yeah, if you were my generation going through high school, like 2012 to 2016, that's basically when I dropped off. I know it's much longer than that, but that's when I dropped off. You will know that bronies were a phenomenon. Not the very spawn of it, okay? Bronies weren't doing too much harm. They were just, you know, creating music for it. Um, watching the show, um, creating fan art and everything like that, safe fan art, and um, you know, being sexist to women, just normal stuff. It's super funny that a show made for little girls who had like an all-female cast for the most part, <laughs> like men wanted to watch it, and also they wanted to be sexist to women, like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not saying all men, okay? I'm just saying a good portion. But yeah, a lot of grown men started entering this sort of community just watching this kid's show, which is not a problem in any sense, except when they get sexual. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize there's little kids growing up on this little kid's show. And I gotta tell you, when I was a little kid, even to this day, it's impossible to search up MOP stuff without getting a hint of like porn. Also doesn't help that some adults kind of shove that shit down the kid's throat and it's kind of fucking sick. I believe the My Little Pony era sort of normalized the sort of reality we're living in today to where people are making not safe for work material for these kids shows and it's not okay. Like women get sexualized nonstop throughout society. They could be doing absolutely nothing, having a normal life, doing Anything normal in a normal context, nothing sexual related, and they'll still get sexualized. And if you somehow don't believe that's true, literally look up R34 and you'll find a lot of women who are basically doing nothing sexual in that context, in that show or movie, whatever the fuck it is, being sexualized. And of course men get sexualized as well, but women throughout history have such a high record of being sexualized compared to men. Yes, it is a statistic, but I'm talking about the people who actually get harmed more from this. Women had to fight for their rights. Men kind of had it easy for the most part. And I know there's a lot of contextual things that I'm missing in this statement, but I'm just talking very vaguely right now. Anyway, going back to it, Pokemon is another series that has a fuck ton of R34. And did, did like no one really question what's going on here like pokemon it can be enjoyed by all ages but that doesn't necessarily mean it should fit all of your desires i'm talking about the more adult desires and you know kids are super super impressionable and when they see this shit with zero context at all their minds are going to be plagued this is why i feel there's a lot more porn addictions in the world and a lot more um simping because like they see the shit at a young age and everyone's basically kind of saying it's okay and nobody really like denounces it and so these kids are just like eating it up eating all this information up they don't know what to do with when they grow and go through puberty and everything like that it's just gonna be a fucking mess i don't think there's anything really wrong with x-rated material graphic material well okay in some cases but i feel people need to keep these things in adult spaces and in spaces where people actually want that stuff and i know it's somewhat of the fault of google and twitter and these social places that don't necessarily censor all the things that kids don't need to see or any adult who doesn't want to see it shouldn't see but at the same time these artists and these people who are like in the porn industry they push it naturally they push it naturally they, there's no like there's no border or anything like that you can see it like i'm not joking if you look up say like a pokemon or something like that on twitter or on google you're going to get it might not be all of it but in one section of like the search results you're gonna get 
some porn. And I love how a majority of people never really take any accountability. They just say, oh, well, it's your fault you found this. Like, how the fuck is it my fault? If I walk into a Walmart and someone who I don't know flashes me, is that is that my fault? No, the fuck it isn't. I feel sex and porn is way too strong and influential on people for it to be like normalized the way it is. I feel it's almost like gambling to where, you know, it's okay in a specific place, but it shouldn't be everywhere. It should be in a specific place. And if people say, oh, well, you're using strong language. Oh, isn't that something that's wrong or something like that? I, I feel contextually they're way different and one is more severe than the other. I could live with myself if a child heard a bad word or something like that, but I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how to even start if my child saw like a sexual thing or anything like that. And if you have the argument kids shouldn't be online, yes, I very much agree kids shouldn't be online until a certain age. But at the same time, like that doesn't make sexual content normal it shouldn't be in a normal space like great you got rid of the kids what about the adults who don't want to see this shit should they just cope anyway that's my thought on the subject things have become so normalized with sexual content and i'm just like hey we need to back up a little bit okay anyway how's it going pups it's a canine and i'm 